Okay, hello there. I'm here today at Roehampton Hospital, Queen Mary's, really the flagship for rehabilitation. And with me today is David, one of the technicians, an unsung hero of these people. And I'd like to ask David the first thing. Good morning and thank you very much to come and see us. Good morning you, Ray. Dave, you know you've known me a long time. Yes, I have. It's so important to get to know the patients and the people that wear the prosthetic limbs. But you're important as well to build the limbs. How important is it for the harmony between both? It's, it's very good to find out what a patient expects from them and what we can deliver in respect of that they might have a sport interest that we can perhaps help them with. And if the, the prosthetist can come to us and say, look, you know, this guy does rowing, can we do anything for him? Have we got anything available? And we can usually look at a, an item and try and modify it uh, to suit the requirements as and when required. I see that you have a limb there. What is this limb called? This is a, just a straightforward baloney um, limb, and it's just a, a basic limb. It's not, there's nothing um, extraordinary about this. And so if we hold it up, you think it's just aluminium adapters, top and bottom. Yes. Carbon fibre and resin socket, and uh, just a foot that's actually got a keel built into it. So it's got some give in the heel and give in the toes. <laughs> But that is just a basic limb. Basic limb. And do you have the chance of seeing the patient prior to having a limb fitted? So you understand what the patient's needs are sometimes? Um, I'm, I don't very often see a patient before, uh, before a fitting. I will see them uh, with the prosthetists, uh, possibly afterwards, um, if they've got a requirement that uh, they need meeting and uh, if we're not sure. The prosthetist isn't quite sure what we can do and what we can't do. Let's say sports wise and things like that. But your skill is to make the limb. I'll manufacture the limb, I will set it up ready for the patient to trial, and then when it comes back and it's, if it's all okay, I will uh, finish it all off completely, cover it with foam or whatever else they require. And what is the most important things that a patient requires? If you okay. take out of 10, what's the most important one? The most important one is, is the leg will, will do what they, the patient requires it to do, and it's a good socket fit. Right. Um, if we can get a, a, a very, very good fit, and um, the patient's happy with that and the alignment's okay, they usually don't have any problems whatsoever. Oh, really? The only thing is it would be just normal wear and tear. And that's what we like to see. We like to see plenty of wear and tear. Does the comfort really come into it? Is that a main criteria of the patient's query? Comfort? Well, the comfort side of it would be dealt with by the prosthetist, not necessarily a technician. All a technician can do is suggest um, various things with the build of the limb. I see. And it's only suggestions. Right. Um, but it, uh, it's down to the prosthetist to discuss with the patient and um, decide what is best for them. And how long have you been doing this, David? Um, over 20 years. Oh wow, so you've got a vast amount of experience, haven't you? I have got quite a lot of experience, but um, I did leave this, uh, this uh, profession alone for quite a little while and came back into it about 10 years ago, but altogether I've got 20 years experience. And in those 20 years, has a lot changed? An awful lot has changed. Um, I'm able now to meet people like yourself, whereas before we were just in a workshop and we didn't get to see anybody. Uh, these days, it's more of a hands-on job. Oh, a patient requires a an item fix on a limb. I can go and see the patient directly without the process being involved. If it's, a, if it's just a mechanical oh, right. problem, they don't have to make an appointment. They can just ring with, see the process. They can just ring up and see me or one of the other chaps. There's three of us which are called CSTs. And we will actually do our very, very best to sort you out and repair whatever we can. David, lastly, if you were able to see the patients a lot more, would that help you understand their needs? Or is it a good way at the moment what you do? Because you're behind the scenes, that's yeah, the problem, isn't the, it? Uh, well, I wouldn't say seeing them a lot more. I would say that um, some patients require a little bit more knowledge, you need to have some more knowledge about them yes. for, yeah. for their requirements because some of them are quite specialist and it, in that case it would certainly help to see the patient actually have a chat with them, see what they expect and what we can do. Mm -hmm. 
it's a meeting of minds. Well, on exactly, everything. exactly. Yeah. And I mean, we become good friends, and I'm sure, like everything else, other patients feel the same way. But David, thank you very much for talking to us, and I tell you, you are one of the young sun heroes. Thank you very much, Ray. It's always much. a pleasure to see you. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. pleasure. Okay, gentlemen. You see that? It's so interesting.